this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Since last time I made it back to the Lost Continent here, and what happened to Esto Gaza? Well, it got blocked off for memory conservation, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's like, what, a root of the Aoife tree or something? Or It blocks it off, you can't get in there on disc four, so. But anyway, there's one thing that I want to do while we're in the area. I want to get to where the Shimmering Isle used to be. I should be right on top of it. There we go. Now, if you go to where it used to be, you see there's no foamy water there. But, if you take your chocobo and feed a dead pepper here... Choco, there you are. You can find some hidden treasure! Like the Ultima weapon, the strongest weapon in the game for Zidane. And the Maximilian, one of the strongest armors in the game for Steiner there. I think Steiner's the only one who could equip it, not Freya. So, okay, well that's... Pretty much all I came here for. I don't think there's any more sunken treasure or cracked mountains or whatever. So now let's head on over to Trina. I want to drop off at Stelazio and I've got... I'll just meet you over there then. Okay, we're back at Trino here. One other thing I wanted to mention with the uh, Chocobos. There's a little side quest that I'm not going to be showing with that. Uh, something Chocobo Beach side quest... Whatever, I I don't know exactly how it works, and nor do I care. But it's something like if you go to like all the beaches in the world with your chocobo, you talk to the fat chocobo, and when it, and then you activate the reward from the side quest. And whenever you go to a beach from now on, you can get a free HP and MP restoration to fall. Uh, I don't care about that at all. It's way too much effort for not enough reward. So I'm not going to be showing that. But I figured, well, I might as well mention it to you guys. So, let's drop off the uh, last Stelazio, the Pisces Stelazio there. And what do we get for our reward? 30,000 good go. That's it? What happened to the real reward? Oh, there it is, the Aquarius. Oh, I thought I already dropped that one off. Okay, well, there we go. We still had one more to drop off. <laughs> for a second there, I thought I missed one. What's with all the empty cages you got around here? Isn't that the last one? There's 12 of them. Well, we got the another robe of lords, so best robe in the game. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, yeah, there's only 12 signs of the zodiac. It's just your imagination. Nah, nah, just kidding. Uh, actually, yeah, um, yeah, there is one more. There must be. Just like Final Fantasy Tactics. Hmm. What do you mean by that? I don't know what they mean by that. Seriously, uh, let's go to the key items just to take a quick look at some of them. I'm not going to look at every one of them. Supposedly, this is supposed to give you a clue. You look at them, and you're supposed to put them all together. It's, if you really want to read them, pause. But, yeah, I don't get the clue. You got me on that one, viewers. But, uh, well, there it is. But I'll, I'll just tell you where it is when I'm done here, so... Okay, so now we got to find the 13th Stelazio, but before we do that, um, remember there's that guy back at Daguero who wanted that magical fingertip? Well, let's go get it. So uh, what we got to do here is sell our items back to the nobles that we won from the auction house way earlier in the game. So what you want to do with these guys is offer to sell the item, say no first, then they'll give you a better offer for it, and they'll give you some money for it. So... We want to sell the Rat's Tail, the Griffin's Heart, the uh, Une's Mirror, the, and the Doga's Artifact. So, no, why? Okay, yeah, I'll sell it too. There we go. And a lot of times you can even make a profit off of it, but it's totally not worth it. I I wouldn't even bother with it. How much money do I have? Yeah, I've, I've almost gotten up already as it is, and I haven't even sold anything yet. And the last one you got to sell to this guy, Doga's Artifact. Uh, I don't think, yeah, yeah, he won't uh, haggle with me. So, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll just give you full price, or regular price for it. Whatever. But anyway, okay, so once you sell those four items there, the magical fingertip will show up at the auction house there. So, now we can go on over there and get it. But make sure you've got a lot of money for it. So... Not to mention, uh, there's something else that I want to get at the auction house there, so, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, let's equip Zidane with the Sargitanas, because we're going to want that very shortly. Oh, and hey, the Moogles are still around. I don't think anyone says anything differently on Disc 4. If there's something you want me to show off, let me know, viewers, but, uh, 
you know, I've probably only got like a couple episodes left before we go to the final area, so, um, you know, let me know. I know I want to show off something back at Medine, sorry, but, uh, we'll get there soon enough. But anyway, now we have to fight, uh, I think it's just an ordinary behemoth or whatever. Gotta watch out for this guy, uh, I forget whether it's this guy or one of his cousins. Uh, they can counterattack with Meteor, which will kill you. So, basically, the way you want to deal with them, Sargitanus, Soul Blade, and it'll get them stoned off their ass so they can't b be bothered to uh, counterattack. That didn't work? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, it still works. I thought it was like those battles at uh, Pandemonium where they made them all immune to status ailments. Well, okay, there we go. And for defeating him, we get another circlet. All right. So what I want to do is take a moment to sell some other things, like uh, particularly those, uh, oh, what is it? Like the pearl armlets, the stuff that everyone can equip like that because they can sell for really good money. I'd like to get 150,000 gil if I can. So I'll take care of that real quick and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. I got most of the remaining money that I needed from selling those Aloha t-shirts or basically any of that tropical equipment that we got from that uh, chocograph or dive spot, whatever it was. But anyway, now for the last stuff that I pretty much ever want to buy in the game, or for the most part, really. But anyway, we can get the magical fingertip and the fourth and final ribbon. So I'll just, uh, I'll just meet you on the other end when I'm just about to win the uh, magical fingertip there and skip past the first two items there. Okay, there we go. Once you see him say any more, here we got the magical fingertip, so let's bid on it. This is a really good price. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, that seemed a bit too low. I was expecting more like 60000 for this thing. So, uh, let's try that one again. Okay, 38000 100 more. Come on. Yes, got it. Ooh, that is a really, really good price. Now I want to get a, a, the fourth and final ribbon. Uh, the reason I say it's the fourth one is because I had some people on my forums who were kind enough to help me learn how to hack my inventory on PlayStation because I've never done that before. I've only done it on Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. So, well, now I've got, I got the third one because I was supposed to have gotten that one from Stiltskin. A whole bunch of people were saying that they did exactly what I did and they got the ribbon. So I showed you how to do it and I should have gotten it, but somehow I screwed up. Maybe I re-recorded something and undid something when I reloaded a save file or whatever. I don't know, but anyway, I should have four ribbons by the time I get this one here. And I'm looking at about 90000 That's about what I figured I was going to pay for this thing, so... Are we good? No? No, we're still not good. Come on, you can't even fit the ribbon on your head there, fat man. Oh, come on. Well, I suppose this makes up for all the money that I saved on the magical fingertip. Okay, come on. No more bids. No more bids. Snipe! 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 Come on! Ah! Oh, come on! <sighs> Try it again. I bid two bits! No. No, a lot more than that. Ha-ha! There we go. Four ribbons. That's exactly what I wanted. So, okay. Well, that's everything that I can do back here at Trino. So, now let's go look for that 13th Stelazio. I'll just meet you outside. Okay. We've made it out of Trino there. and Well, I'll just tell you where uh, the Stelazio is. Remember? Where we got that one at Quan's Dwelling? It's in the exact same spot. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out with all of the clues from the Stelazios there. What are they supposed to be clues to? I, I don't get it. I don't know why they do this other than to maybe sell more strategy guides. It's a conspiracy theory! But that's what you have me for, viewers. And, well, now we have Game Facts. Back then, well, when this game came out, Game Facts was just starting up. But, uh... Still, I mean, nowadays. Okay, let's uh, head on down here. Uh, there it is. You go over here. Hmm, what could it be? The of uh, a fuchsia's Stelazio? Whatever it is. Huh. I don't get the reference there, viewers. You got me on that one. But let's restore up to full, and I'll just meet you back at uh, Queen Stella's place. 
Okay, I made it back, so uh, let's drop off this Delazio to Stella! There we go. You're gonna take them out of my ass one at a time, aren't you? Okay, fine. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that, Zidane. It's a good thing we don't have a lady at the lead of our party, or that might be a little suggestive. This is insipid game. Taking them out of, out of my pants one at a time. I don't know what the point of that was, making a third Team Stelazzi. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice. Okay, but there's another cage that's empty in the lower left. What the hell? Well, there's nothing that goes in here, but for giving her all the Stelazio, we get the hammer! It alters the ending slightly. I forget exactly how, but, uh... Or you could use it to synthesize something later in the game, I'll be pointing out, but... I'll hold on to it for the ending, so... Okay, well, that's everything we can do here, so... Now there's another side quest that I want to move on to, but in order to do that, I need to catch 99 frogs with Kina. So I'm going to rearrange my setup as I have listed in the video description there, and I'll just meet you at one of the Q's marshes. Okay, we're back at the Q's marsh at Lanner Isle here. I figured this was the easiest place for me to get an another frog. I've already set myself up with 98 frogs. I actually found it a lot easier to get up to 99 frogs this time around, probably because I kept the golden frogs around. That's why I'm going to eat a golden frog as my last one. No, nah, no, nah, that was just a coincidence. But uh, yeah, I mean, usually I barely have enough frogs caught to get up to 99 to complete this side quest. What is the final test? Boss time! Against Quail Man! Or, well, just Quail, but yeah, close enough. Okay, so, got a couple items we want to steal, so let's get to that to done. Really, really, it's pretty much stealing items, and what else? Uh, using Magic Hammer to drain Quail Man of all of his MP. So, that's pretty much all you need to really worry about. Make sure you got ribbons all across the board. Holy crap! That's a lot of MP drained there. I'm not even worried about the mini status at all. Just, uh, I wish White Wind would, uh, cure his status ailments, but that was another game. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that wasn't so much at all. Maybe since I'm smaller, I should be able to steal more easily. Well, let's see. Let's just keep going with Magic Hammer if I need to. Ooh, we got the Robe of Lords. Okay. One more item that I want to steal. If I can get it, great. If not, well, I'll get it off screen. Uh, no, I'm still- I'm not even worried about Mini at all, really. Although, maybe I should be concerned about being, uh, mini there. Okay, er, not mini. uh, low on HP there. So, uh, yeah, let's heal up there and I'll get the second item I want to steal off-screen. Alright, there we go. We got the, uh, ninja gear. That was the other item that I wanted to steal from him. So, uh, if I can get back to Zidane's turn and fast forward through Bahamut. Not bad, Dagger. Not bad. But, uh, anyway, uh, as you can see, I've also drained Quail Man of all of his MP there, so we should be in pretty good shape for that. Summon Bahamut again. Yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward through the attack animations there because, well, it takes too long and I'm running a little short on time now. And that's also why... I didn't drop off the uh, magical fingertip yet at Daguero there because, you know, that's, that'll just take me a minute and I'll just do that next time. So don't worry about it, viewers. You worry too much. I worry about you, viewers. No, no, just kidding. But, uh, let's see. We've got about 50, 60,000 HP somewhere around there. So, uh, nothing I really should need to worry about, but, uh, Anything there? Nope, nope, we're in pretty good shape still. Yeah, I got boost on Dagger there, so that way she can deal quite a bit more damage. So, uh, yeah, it lengthens the attack animation, but oh well. Need another Bahamut? Yeah, we need another Bahamut. Dagger, can you, uh, kill the monster, please? Thank you. That's not enough? How much HP does this guy have? Okay, there we go. One more thievery. 
All right, there we go. Got Quail there. But do we have enough to defeat Ozma? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.